What's up, guys? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. You're going into a Fallujah or a Ramadi, Ramadi especially like 07, and you're under fire. Automatically, your senses are so high. There's no more warning shots. There's no more firing at the grill to disable the vehicle. You will shoot flares instead. You are ready to go. Everything is a threat. You see a car that is coming at you. You're flicking lights, whatever. Well, guess what? Your life feels threatened threatened, you automatically go to that gun, disable that vehicle, a ricochet happens, hits the bottom of that windshield, deflects yep. up in the guy's head, and he's dead. Or... What, when, when you first got on the ground after the C-130 landed and then took off, what was your what was your order of business right there? So you've been being shot out while, while you were in the plane by the tracers from mm -hmm. Saddam's army. But like, how many battalions landed total? Two originally. Okay, so how many men are on the ground for people out there? Uh, 1,200, okay. I think, probably. What, what are you guys doing at that point? <laughs> Funny enough, uh, we thought we are in the middle of combat zone, too. Well, we are, but we thought mm -hmm. we are in, like, we're ready to step out and get some right this second. Well, we had, we already had, like, five dudes uh, on the ground a few weeks, a couple weeks before that that had made friends with the Peshmerga and done all this stuff. Mm. And um, so... They had coordinated, and they knew we were coming in and all this other stuff. So we landed, got out of the plane. We got tons of crap. They're flying up, dumping this stuff out and all this. And all of a sudden, out of the pitch black darkness, I see vehicles coming at us with a bunch of dark-skinned guys coming at us, armed, running down the freaking airfield. And we're all like, holy crap, okay, here we go. And then they ran up, and all of a sudden, our guys jump out. Same thing I did on the drop zone. You know, hey, boys, what y'all up to? They're blinking their lights and stuff. They're like, What? And they come up here, here, let's load all this shit up and go. And blah, blah. And we, I'm like, oh, my God, dude, I thought we were about to get some right here. But turns out we didn't get some for like another week. So, and where was that? Where did that, what town did you say that landed in again? Erbil. So it did land in Erbil, yeah. the C-130. It was in Bashur or Bashur Airfield. So, we, but this was, so Operation Iraqi Freedom happened in multiple cities at the same time. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So we had Baghdad. We had Erbil. Did they land in Mosul, too? Mosul, they drove into. Oh, they drove into I don't into know Mosul. if they landed in Mosul or not. I can't. I honestly can't remember. Okay. So they... We drove into Mosul, too. We all kind of consolidated on it. And what was this What was the strategic decision, like, to have Erbil be one of those spots? Friendlies, for one. And we had the Kurdish right there with us, and they had their mm. compound and all their guys. And so we, like, literally loaded... Up thousand with each team or whatever else you know and we took them with us and they knew the terrain and they're also highly motivated to move south and west originally because that that had been taken away from them mm. and they've been bumped out of power like uh if you go down further south there's a place called makmar makmar right to right the there. left to the left to your left up yeah. up right, right there. there yeah okay so what was this again so they got they they ran that place at some point and the peshmerga uh, did yeah and we went, we went out to, uh, we're in it now at this point, before this. We went down to uh, uh, Debeka Pass, which is down there on the way to that. Uh, it says Debaga right uh, there. Debaga. Yeah. We went down there, and that's where uh, the American jet accidentally bombed, dropped a bomb on our team. Who? Wait, what? American F-18 accidentally, yeah, somebody accidentally it's on called YouTube. it. Yeah. Who's there? Wait, that's on YouTube? Mm hmm Can we pull that up? That's pretty, not going to like... Pretty gnarly. Bother you. You all right? Let us see it. Is yeah, that, is that okay? Guys, if you're not following me over on Instagram, my personal page is at Julian D. Dory, and the podcast page is at Julian Dory Podcast. Both links are in the description below. I'm trying to build that out. I've never focused on it before, but it's important that obviously I get the fans over there because we announce a lot of things pertaining to the show. So I hope to see you follow me there. Check the links in the description. All right, so what should he search? killed a bunch of our Peshmerga friends and almost stirred up a serious problem for us because none of, no Americans got killed, and it killed a whole bunch of Peshmerga. And it didn't almost go well till the President Barzani got out there and said, get over it. What was it on? Should um, we hit the BBC first one? BBC or something? Battle of, well, it's also the Battle of Debeka Pasca. It was a battle. Battle of on. Debeka Pasca, BBC. The Battle of Debeka. The second one? Right, yeah. yeah. This right here? Yeah, That's one that of one. them. <clears throat> All right. So so this one, who, it was an F-18 F accidentally dropped? F-18 accidentally got called in 
uh, we believe maybe another special force team called it on us accidentally because there's a big hill between us and another team. And there's an uh, T-72 tank sitting out in front of us that mm. they had recovered. And they saw a bunch of brown guys running around it from distance and heard tanks in the open and looked over and saw this tank with a bunch of brown guys running around with uniforms on. And I think they saw that thinking it was another group of people. And here it came. And they just dropped a tank go up back, and dropped a bomb on it. Go back to like 16 minutes, Alessi. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There's, yeah, there's See the actual... bump right there? I think it shows like a, yeah, hit that. I think this is where it shows. It's like an animation. Yeah, this isn't like the actual. Yeah. But I saw like a bomb go off at some point here. So who are we looking, who's firing there on the right side? Uh, this is obviously yeah, it's before it's, this. It's a remake. Yeah, this is. Oh, that looks like U.S. There was a javelin. This is true. So those are the bad guys on the left right there. Uh, it should say. I go back to that search or, page. Yeah. It's Accidental actually, bombing at Debecca Pass or Battle what, of Debecca Pass. I mean, what's that? Be, uh, keep going. Keep going. Keep trying to search it. See if we can find it. But no anyway, that's that happened. Blew up a whole bunch of stuff, people, things, and all this. Uh, put us on bad footing with the with the Peshmerga for a minute, and the president. Barzani got up there. Oh, and President Barzani's brother got seriously wounded with a chunk of steel in the base of the skull. He was Ooh. standing there. He was up there. personal. Right there. there it is one. right there. Second one. Second one. All right, let's hit the second one. A scene from hell. Yeah, there's the British guy that got bit. He ends up bleeding all over the lens. Wait, was this during the day? Yeah. Broad daylight. Oh, so it's about to come. Yeah. Oh, no way. Oh, shit. Unless... I can't tell if it's aftermath. And I see a bunch of scorched on the asphalt there. But there's a crater where it is. Check hit. the preview, Alessi, just to see. Like, yeah. See if something drops. I can't tell if it's after or not. Should oh, wait. Let, it keep, let is, it keep going. Yeah, I think this is it. Oh, there, you'll, you'll know when you see it. There's plenty of stuff on. There you go. That's right after. That's when he stands Whoa. up. That British guy was just talking. He stands up and videos this. You'll see our white Range Rover. Standing there somewhere. Oh, that's crazy. That's like that's like dystopian. Damn. There's my interpreter right there with a the helmet on the right. So you're in this video somewhere. Okay. I'm in the back of a truck throwing out bandage wrappers for his cameraman. Are they going to show it, I guess, now? Probably. Or no, this might. it looks like this might be the aftermath. I think it's aftermath. I think right? this is after. But so we, we, we get the picture. But, yeah, it was bad. Wow. Well, I guess they're flashing back, too. How many of your guys did you lose in that? None. None of yours. It was just Peshmerga. I think it was 27. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's terrible. So, uh, so needless to say, American jet bombed and didn't kill any Americans. So you imagine they're a little bit pissed off. Yeah. The, but the conspiracy that. brains are tingling on that one for them, I'm sure. Our vehicle's in there somewhere. There's a white range over sitting there somewhere. But Wedgie Barzani, he's he's a big deal. He got seriously injured. But President Barzani's like, hey, you guys get over it. America's here to help. Don't be pointing fingers at nobody. And we just drove on. And Barzani, when did when did he get power? There's our vehicle right there. That was you. I'm in the back. Is that you standing up? I uh, don't remember. Like it. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe on BBC. Yeah, he's got the only video of the after. There's some video before it. President. But, uh, yeah, I was whack. That was whack, dude. But luckily, nobody got in severe trouble over it because it, it proved to be an accident. But, uh, we went on down and went to Montmartre and took that town. And, man, and people poured into that place. They poured into it. And that was, you said that was on the way to, to Montmartre. Yeah. So the 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 end of the mission was to get there, and yeah. this was just yeah. Let them mm. let them do what they did. Went down and cleaned that place out. Uh, what, let what, them jump back into office. They wanted to take their offices back and their the pe know. the Peshmerga. Yeah. What 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 month are we in now? Are we still in March? <sighs> probably March. Yeah, probably still March. Early mm -hmm. April or March. I can't remember for sure. But probably March. Oh no, it says right there. It's that's April sixth. 
All right, so beginning of it, either way, it's like yeah. two, three weeks into the invasion. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.